In this video, we are going to learn about SR flip-flop. SR flip-flop logic diagram is shown in this fashion. Function table, graphic symbol and this is a truth table for NAND gate. Basically, SR flip-flop is the initial flip-flop which is introduced. After introduction of SR latches, and noticing that it is unstable and asynchronous in nature, the clock pulse is introduced or in this case we have specified as enable input and made it synchronous in nature. And that is nothing but what we say as SR flip-flop. So let us see how the function table of SR flip-flop comes. And in this case like SR flip-flop, graphic symbol you can see that two inputs will be there s and r and two outputs q and q bar and when you observe the function table of uh, nand gate you can observe that one of the input is uh, zero then output is one this property we are going to use when you are getting the function table now substitute the values of s and r as zero zero we'll observe that the state will preserve its state. So if you see like now S and R are 0, 0 and enable is 1 and as we already observed if one of the input is 0 for the NAND gate output is 1. So here when you say this is 0, 0 we can say that it is 1 and when the input is 1 it definitely depends upon the other input actually. So what happens? Because of this feedback, Q comes here and Q bar goes here. Now, how to get the output? Use this property of the NAND gate. X dot 1 whole bar is X bar. X bar dot 1 whole bar is X bar. So, Q dot 1 whole bar is nothing but Q bar. Here, we will get Q bar. And uh, Q bar dot 1 will get Q. So, it is preserving its own state actually. So, that is nothing but when S and R is 0, 0, Q of T is equal to Q. Q of T plus 1 is equal to Q of T. Then the next case, when S is equal to 0 and R is equal to 1. So, when S is equal to 0, the output of this NAND gate, this is 0, 1. So, we can say it is 1 and this is 1, 1. So, we can say it is 0. Like this we can get here and now here directly because this is 0 we can say that this Q bar becomes 1. So this 1 is fed back to this NAND gate so 1 1 means 0. So we will get Q as 0 and Q bar as 1 so which is specified in the function table. Then 1 0 so here we will get 1 1 and 0 because this is 0 and 1 we will get 1 here and this is 1 1 we will get 0 here and because this is 0 directly independent of the second input directly we can get 1 for the Q and Q is uh, fed back as a input to the another NAND gate so 1 1 Q bar becomes 0 so we can observe that when S and R are 1 0 Q of T plus 1 is equal to 1 then final one when S is equal to 1 and R equal to 1, that is here 1, 1 are the inputs, so 0 will be the output here and also in this case 1, 1 are the inputs, so 0, 0 will be the outputs. So in this case, like when you observe, both the NAND gates are independent of the second input. Because one of the inputs is 0, we can get Q and Q bar to be 1, 1, which is actually not possible, not a valid one. Q and Q bar should be complement to each other. So, we represent that when S and R are 1, 1, we say that Q of T plus 1 is equal to don't care condition. So, this is the final uh, logic diagram what we have discussed just now. This is a function table and this is a graphic symbol. Now, we are supposed to get the characteristic equation for SR flip-flop. This is how we get the characteristic equation using KMAP, S bar, S, R bar, R. When S and R are 0, 0, it is Q, that is no change state, it is preserving its state. When S is 0 and R is 1, we get 0, 
when s is equal to 1 and r equal to 0 it is 1 when both are 1 1 it is don't care case so mapping goes like this and the characteristic equation is q of t plus 1 is equal to s plus r bar q another uh, type of sr flip flop also is possible because sr latches are introduced using nand gates and nor gates also so till now we have seen using nand gates and this is sr flip flop using nor latch so the connections goes like this and uh, if you keep substituting the values of s and r as we have done previously we will be getting the sr flip flop function table in this fashion which is similar to the SR flip flop using NAND gates.